Hey, hey, what's going on my eyes by party people? In this question here, this is a proportion word problem, and I'm gonna show you a non-traditional way to solve problems like this. And the reason I wanna show you something like this is because you know how to do cross multiplication and division, and if you've been to my classes or my program, you get it for free for a week right there. If you've been to my classes in my program, you may have learned how to do uh, simplification horizontally, vertically, how to do all these little tricks and you know tips like that. And the third way that I really wanna show in this video here is how to use the answer choices. So if you know what the idea is, if you know how proportions work, then you have much more of an opportunity to use different techniques. So I'm really hoping that this technique, using the answer choices, is really gonna open your eyes to problems that you probably could have gotten right if you would have noticed it. So here we go. So the problem, the question reads, you know, at this rate, how long will it take Jennifer to earn $1,036.75? So we want that, okay, how long? So blank hours, because it says hours right there for the answer choices. Blank hours to earn $1,036.75. And if you read the first sentence, if you've seen me do proportion word problems, you might see that we're comparing the same thing in the same way. We have hours and money here, hours and money. So we'll have four hours to earn $143. So now that we're here, here's what I wanna show you. Again, if you know how to do cross multiplication and division, you may have learned from me how to do those simplification techniques, but now I'm gonna use estimation to get this one done. Here's how I know estimation is a great, great strategy for this one. Simply because when you look at your choices, you have you know, 17 and a half hours, 29, 40, and 70. I would say that those are pretty spread out apart. I can definitely try here and eliminate at least two answer choices by doing this. Let me go ahead and show you again how proportions work. Proportions are all about comparing the same things in the same way. So think of it like this. If I'm going from, let's say, uh, 143 to 1,036, well, proportions are comparative. So if I wanted to say pretend, you know, hey, if I am multiplying by 10, where do I get to? And let me show you where that would be. If I multiply both of these by 10, well, that would end up getting me $1,430, and then four times 10 would be 40 hours. So this is, this is a correct relationship. Like if we worked 40 hours at this rate, we would get $1,430. Now let's use that as a little benchmark. Watch this. So is 1,036 more or less than 1,430? It's less, right? It's less. So that means it should be less than 40 hours. So that means, well, B and C aren't it. B and C are not it. Now, the other two options that we have are 17 and a half hours and 29 hours. Well, let's take a look at this. 17 and a half is less than half of 40 hours, right? If we cut this in half, what do we get? Well, that's pretty easy to see. We can estimate. That's about 700. That's about 700. That's way more. That right there, that's way more than $700. So that means it's way more than 20 hours, not less. I can eliminate A, and by default, the answer is D. And that would make sense because 29 is more than half of 20, or sorry, more than half of 40, so more than 20, less than 40, and that is again, more than half of 20, so more than 20 hours, and then that would be also less than the 40, and that fits. So you can use some guesstimating here with the answer choices, and if you wanna see more of that, well, let us know in the comments. Let us know if that was something that was surprising to you. That way we can keep adding more and more and more to these videos that you guys all love. So let us know if you like that. And also, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, our program is free to try for a full week. My party people, I got your back. So go ahead, scan the QR code up there, get started, or go to that link. And let's see the ask back. You got any questions? Text me. I'll see you in the next one.